and welcome back to my channel today I'm here I just want to say my piece don't fight with me please guys I just want to know your opinion you can come into the comment section and um, this is gonna be a very quick one because I just thought sometimes I just need to share my thoughts responsibly and give some biblical um, you know <laughs> references but I really want to bring something to you guys and maybe this will be helpful um, to anyone who is going through this right here's my thing I have in not one but three or four instances met people didn't get into a relationship with them or anything like that just met them saw them knew them and sometimes thought hey maybe that could have been my husband that could be my husband not could have been could be my husband and at the time i was single didn't want to be in a relationship but these thoughts were kind of you know strong and sometimes there was a feeling connected to um these people you know and i often then ask myself afterwards that i think i did lose the plot because sometimes you end up obsessing over these people thinking about them a lot because you just think maybe vele vele maybe vele vele he's my husband um, I don't know, maybe this might happen with guys. I know it happens with guys because I have a very close friend who this happened to as well. But, you know, sometimes I think it's just that you are meant to help this person in some kind of way and that they're not necessarily your kingdom spouse. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my okay what happened to me and then you guys will decide if you're going through the same situation where does your situation lie okay okay here's one thing once i met this guy meeting him god told me all the problems about this guy and the lord actually said to me kingdom marriage that's the first thing i the first thing that i picked up in my spirit about this guy and i was just like kingdom marriage so obviously my mind went to oh my god is he my kingdom spouse and i thought mm -hmm. i'm not really attracted to this guy he's not really my vibe i don't even think that i could live up to whatever expectations he has of a wife and i just thought in my mind like ah, maybe he is maybe he's not maybe he is maybe he's not and i think my mistake then was i said to him hey you know what i think the lord is saying to me i must pray for you about kingdom marriage and from there he started showing like a lot of interest that it, it didn't end well it was not it was not it was not a good thing it should have not happened um you know i should have not said that i should have literally just prayed for this guy okay and so okay time goes by time goes by guys you know and then you know things just end up being very strange between him and i and it's okay things are not strange at the moment even though we're not necessarily on talking terms he's married i'm married which is cool no beef like you know vibes but after a while, you know, of kind of really thinking, maybe really I'm supposed to be with this guy, all these thoughts that had overcome um, me. And, you know, there was a level of closeness that we established between the both of us. But I actually realized, no, man, the Lord said I must pray for this guy, not that he's my kingdom spouse. And so this is what actually happened, guys. The Lord gave me one instruction. I probably shouldn't have told the guy. The guy started pursuing me. I got super interested because I was like, this is actually a really nice guy. Even though he's not my type, even though I'm not necessarily attracted to him in that kind of way, there is something between us when we are, you know, in close proximity to each other or around each other. Kuna spark, kuna something, you know. And so, then what happened, you guys, was that um, it was just all a very disappointing journey for me, to be honest with you. And I think I got a little bit obsessed in my mind that this guy could be my husband, and there was just a really strong disconnect between him and I it, about that you know and so we didn't date or anything like that um, and I'm so glad that we didn't because I think the damage would have been worse um, if we, we dated um, and so then guys when I sat back and thought about the situation because I was quite hurt about the situation when the guy went off then to get married like a few months later I'm so sorry if he gets to watch this video kudos my brother all love like I, I i i'm no beef like i'm not upset or anything like that but at the time i think i was quite upset because you know i didn't understand this person's intentions and i was i was quite like grieved that as a kingdom man that's how he had decided to do things i'm not going to mention his name or anything like that don't need to be shaming him i just think we were on different pages and that's okay and so i realized that yo i didn't listen the lord said i must pray for this guy 
you know, for his marriage and for what so have you. And then me, at the time, I didn't even know that God has called me for kingdom marriage and praying for people's marriages and all those things. That I think I ended up focusing on the wrong thing, whereas this guy was just an assignment. Similar thing happens with another guy who then now is pursuing me before this other guy. Guys, I so, I'm sorry. It sounds like there was just guys and guys. No, it's not like that. Children of God, don't judge me. We all have a past. So, <laughs> so this other guy, right? I meet him. He's like determined. Like, you're my wife. God told me you're my wife. So when he said God told me, I was just like, ah, roll up, because I hear from the Lord for myself. And I thought, ah, brother, there's no way that it's God who told you. First of all, you're a child, and like. It's not gonna happen, you know. And so, you, um, you know, months go by, months go by, and I start actually thinking maybe he is. Mind you, when we met, I knew there was something wrong here. I definitely knew, but I allowed these thoughts to play in my mind and manipulate me, you know, and to start thinking that this guy could be my husband. And I started really obsessing over this, whereas it was really far from what God was saying. I obsessed over this so hard that I even told my dad, like, Dad, I think that guy's my husband. My dad was like, eh, you know, just shelve it, just relax. Even my mom was like, I don't think you should... Don't go so deep with this thing. I don't think, I don't think uh, that's what the Lord is saying. And I really am grateful that you know I've had my parents to account to in my dating journey that they've really helped me out of some crazy situations where I really thought I was hearing from the Lord, but I just allowed myself to be manipulated by my own desires. And what happened was while I was with this guy. The Lord then gave me instructions of how to pray for him, pray for his career. I would prophesy in his life, like, you know, the Lord saying, this is, you want to go overseas, this is what's going to happen. He's literally overseas right now. Like, the Lord would tell me this and that about him. I pray for him. The Lord would tell me I should pray over his finances. And then the Lord would tell me what cultures are fighting his life. This is what's going to happen. This is, And guys, I did all of that. I did all of that. But I just could not now get over the fact that this brother is my husband. And he was not. The brother was not my husband. He was an assignment. And I was distracted for the longest time with this thought that he was my husband because I could not focus on anything else. I was praying prayers that were not even... Guys, God even sent me dreams. The one dream I had of him, he came to my house and then he was trying to come in at the gate, I think. And his friends came in. I was like, where is he? I think, I don't remember the dream properly, but he stayed outside. And then it's like, you know, my parents were like, no, he's not allowed in. You know, like, he, it's, he, he's, not, he's not allowed to be here. You know, there were just all these things that God was confirming that, sister, get over it, leave it alone. But I wanted what I wanted, and then I was manipulated by my own thoughts and my own desires. Here's what I'm putting out to you guys today. Sometimes you meet someone and, you know, sometimes there's a sort of a leaping in the spirit or some kind of connection spiritually or is an interest. And maybe this is not an interest that this person is your partner, but it grows up, grows into that. And sometimes that's not necessarily what the Lord is trying to establish. Sometimes it is just genuinely a friendship so that you can minister into this person's life and they can minister into yours. And so I really want to warn you guys here. I'll have all the scriptures down below. Um, but tell me if this has happened to you guys before um, where you literally obsessed over an assignment <laughs> and you called someone who was just a passing assignment, um, your kingdom spouse. And yeah, guys, I hope that's helpful. Literally, it just came to my thought and I thought, let me share it with you guys and hopefully it helps someone out there. Anyway, if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section. Let's talk about this, guys. Am I wrong? Has this happened to someone?